Transferring to UC Davis from a community college or other university or college requires a bit more planning than entering as a first year student because you're bringing in courses taken at another institution that may or may not bring relevant credit. This video will help explain some of the steps in preparing to build a balanced course schedule for your first quarter. You will be able to receive more individualized assistance from your advisor during Aggie Advising. Before your Aggie Advising appointment in the summer, before you start at UC Davis, you receive through email a transfer review form completed by a Biology Academic Success Center advisor based on the most recent approved transfer credit. The form and the following information will help you prepare your first quarter course schedule before you meet for Aggie Advising. First, let's look at general education or G requirements, specifically IGETC, which stands for Intersegmental General Education Transfer Curriculum, which is only available from a California community college. So there's three different categories. Full certification means that you completed your entire IGETC pattern and you do not have to complete UC Davis GEs. Partial certification is missing no more than two requirements in your GETC, and then you must complete the missing requirements at UC Davis or at your California Community College. No IGETC certification means that you must complete all UC Davis GEs. So let's debunk some common IGETC myths. The first one being that the IGETC automatically gets completed at the Community College. That's not true. IGETC is a specific GE pattern that you must have certified by your CCC records office. A second common myth is that the IGETC certification automatically shows up on my transcripts. That's not true. Very few CCs certify a full IGETC on the transcripts. Always specifically request certification. And the last common myth is if I have an IGETC, I should only take upper division courses or all science courses. That's not true. GE type courses should be used to balance your schedule at least for your first quarter. So a few tips that we recommend is to request IGETC certification from your CCC records office ASAP. Also request your official transcripts be sent ASAP. And check OASIS by the end of your fall quarter to ensure that your IGETC has been processed. So on the screen we have the direct address where you should request your official IGETC certification or transcripts with IGETC notation be sent to. A frequently asked question is what non-science courses or courses do I take until my transcripts are finalized or my IGETC is processed? And the college recommends to take lower or upper division arts and humanities or social science courses, take courses in subjects you like or you have always wanted to learn about, or consider minor courses. Now let's look at composition. All CVS students need at least 8 units in English composition. Four units of which must be upper division, so UWP 101, 102, A through L, 104, A through F, I, or students may pass the upper division composition exam. Community college transfer courses will not meet the upper division requirement. Four-year institution transfer courses may meet the requirement if upper division. To receive credit for upper division English composition transfer work, complete the student online petition that's titled English Composition Equivalency Request in OASIS at students.ucdavis.edu. A, B, and I, B scores count in some cases for lower division English composition. Consult the chart in the UC Davis General Catalog for eligibility. Okay, now let's consider major coursework or equivalency course review for biological sciences, math, general and organic chemistry, as well as physics. If you attended a California community college, your equivalent major courses should be on file and accessible to Basque Advisor before you meet during your Aggie Advising. If you fall under at least one of the following categories, you'll need to provide syllabi to the relevant departments for your transferred courses. You can find the email addresses for the departments in the transfer review form. Non-California Community College, Non-California Four-Year Institution, California Four-Year Institution, or cross-community colleges within California. To start, you're going to go ahead and log on to your OASIS page, which is going to look like this, and you're going to go ahead and go towards the top where it says Forms and Petitions, and you're going to click there. Alright, so once that loads, you're going to get a page that looks like this, and if you have any other academic plans or forms, it's going to appear on this page. So you can see I have multiple ones, but if you're starting from scratch, you're going to go ahead and click on Submit a New Form on the 
upper right hand. As you can see, the academic plan is right on top and you're going to go ahead and click on that to start your new plan. Now it's time to build a schedule. For major requirements and sample plans, check the BASC website or the UC Davis General Catalog. I'll provide both of the links on the screen down below. Using your transfer review form as a guide, start with two major classes and build up as your confidence grows. Majors have many specific upper division courses, but some are shared. Here are two sample schedules. If you have already completed BIS 2A, BIS 2B, Chem 8A or 118A or 128A, and STATS 13, you can take BIS 101 as well as BIS 101D, which is the discussion section for BIS 101. If you didn't finish physics or start physics, you can take a physics 7 course. So right now I am entering physics 7A, that is the first class in that series. Now you have the options of either taking one or two GEs, depending on how you feel about your first quarter here. You can also take a UWP 101, 102, or 104 class. That's your upper division um, writing requirement. So for this schedule, I'm putting a GE as well as a um, UWP course, but it's all up to you and what you feel comfortable with. For the last course in your first quarter here, you have the option to take BIS 198, which is our bio launch seminar for transfer students. So in the second sample schedule, we'll be discussing uh, possible courses for students who may have not completed OCHEM before coming to UC Davis. So for your first quarter, you'd be either taking Chem 8A or 118A for this schedule. I'm just putting in 8A. And then you can perhaps pair that with Stats 100. So you also would have the option of taking a couple of GEs or a GE in your upper division writing requirement, which is UWP 101, 102, or 104. And then you would take BIS 198, which is our bio launch seminar for transfer students. So tips for your first year at UC Davis is to remember upper division courses will often vary by major. So it's important to consult the transfer review form and meet with your advisor during Aggie advising. Use advanced search and schedule builder to find courses, especially GEs. You can also find lists of GEs, both lower and upper division, on the BASC website. Take no more than 16 units because this is a quarter system, so it's really fast paced. Explore new non-science disciplines. Lower division courses are okay. Don't forget about composition as an option. And finally, things to be aware of. All required CBS major courses must be taken for a letter grade. Remember, when emailing an advisor, always include name, major, and student ID. And thank you for watching. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always contact your advisor. And good luck on your first quarter at UC Davis.